guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's jody Ofori in a, your yard on your screen come on i'm back i'm so sorry please forgive me for like having <laughs> barely any videos on here and i really dipped and i said see ya but i'm here i'm gonna do this look for y'all today um i hope you enjoy it. we're just gonna talk you're just gonna get ready with me as i get this je je on and i hey hey Check it, check it, hey, 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 hey. Comparison is just such, it's such a dangerous thing, which is why I need this. Comparison is a killer because who told you, who told, no, who's actually asking us to compare? Like, why are we comparing? Like, why are we, why are we comparing? What is another person doing that we need to do it? Like, did God say that you need to be there at this time? No. So why are we forcing ourselves to be there? This is what I had to get into my head. This is like a mindset of this that I've been in. I'm just like... Why am I looking at another person and thinking, oh, why am I not like this? Why am I not there? Has God said that, Jody, you need to be there at this specific time? God has created each and every one of us in his image and likeness. You know what I mean? And we've all been created. Uh, although we're in his image, we've all been created so differently. Not everybody's, not even the way everybody speaks is the same. Not even the way we see things are the same. So why is it that now I'm looking at somebody else's journey and I'm asking myself, oh, why am I not there, 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 there when God has specifically created me to be such a different individual, special person? But I'm thinking, oh, I need to be, nah. And it's all down to mindset. And that's where, like, you know what? I'll be talking a lot, but I'm not really putting on my makeup. And obviously, you know, things like Instagram and that is like the, you know, the stereotypical, yeah, you know, we look at other people and did that. But those things all affect us. Like those little little things affect us, and we don't even know it's taken. We don't even know it's taken such a toll or influence on us. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why. Like, especially on YouTube, it's been such a big thing for me, and it's like this is why I literally I apologize first of all because I really done dropped four videos and I said see ya, but partly down to laziness, secondly down to just looking at what other people were doing, just thinking what I was doing wasn't enough. Like, I used to hear about like YouTubers kind of in this mindset, but this is like later on in their journey. I thought, I, well, I, I ain't got nothing. I jumped in this thing early, fam. In this mindset, and I used to be thinking like, why aren't certain people consistent? Like people are loving your stuff. Why aren't you doing more? Why aren't you giving us what we want? I'm not saying everybody's situation the same, but it's literally sometimes down to the way you're thinking like, it's so crazy how ha that can, like, just the way you think and your mindset can have such an influence or, or even hold back what you want to do. And you know what? Comparison is a mixture of that and fear. Like, and I read something on Twitter just saying how you need to change your mind and, like, the fear can, like, literally block you from going to places that you're meant to go, to your destiny, blocking purposes, blocking places that you were meant to be, but because of fear and comparison and your just your mindset in general is just not allowing you to proceed increase just get to where you need to be so okay cool i've used i'm so bad at this i've used it's quite dark but i promise you'll work out i've kind of yeah i didn't miss any but it's gonna be it's gonna get sorted out at the end of the day you get me but i'm using the la pro girl concealer in the shade toffee and i'm going to tell you from that i don't have the time for you why is everybody using our shade all these dark skin girls are using these light things like, sis it works for me and i like it and that's what i'm gonna do period so no i just needed to get into my head that i don't need to be watching anyone and you know what with comparison yeah it's such it's so oh my god i look mad Oh my god, I, I swear I can do my makeup. I actually promise you, like, you guys just need to. I'm not trust the process. I swear to you, I actually swear to you. This is so bad, but I swear to you, it's gonna look good. You know, I think we're gonna have to do another makeup video where I just do makeup and just stop chatting because this is working. So comparison literally just sneaks up on you. You just don't, you don't even know what you're, you don't know you're doing it until you deep you're doing it. Do you know what I mean? There's one thing being inspired and then when you deep when a person is just not bigging up their own self or just kind of like putting themselves down while they look at other people. And then I like I was doing this like not with just YouTube with my own business. I don't know why I didn't let that with the comparison in terms of business. I didn't let that affect me. Like I kind of just took it as yo you need to work harder. But with YouTube I was just like see ya. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I want to get out of this place. You're not going to hold me. 
if I want to go, I'll go. What are you gonna tell me? Nothing. But now, nah, yeah, I just like, I was just like, nah, I need to, I need to get out of here. I don't want to do this no more. Um, but then like people be asking, oh, where's your videos? Like, da 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 da. Like Jade's, like, and tell me that they could see the potential and like, they could see that I could, I can do this thing, and I have a lot to say. Slash so shows, slash so ideas. Like, I have, I have so much written out, so much planned. Not that I was in a down, deep, depressive state, but I was calm. But I was just like, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe, like, I don't have enough to show. I was just, like, overthinking this thing too much. Like, you know what, as I'm saying, it's so mad because, like, the concept of it for YouTube is just to sit down, record, edit and show it. But then it's like, why am I telling myself all of that? Because I'm looking at other people who are maybe going through a certain journey or at a certain stage in their life or maybe have been on this longer than me and I'm trying to, I'm asking myself oh, why not I have this amount of people, da 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 but again, who's asking me to ask that? It's so bad, let me try to so I'm just going to conceal for a minute okay, my eyebrows don't look like a mess but I promise just trust the process she had literally videos just sitting there like i want to drop my room video that was done last year september or maybe a tad bit earlier like yo i did that thing time ago but again the procrastination just the mindset i was in was just crazy i'm gonna leave my eyebrows like this i generally guys i don't know how you guys did it with a ring light because this i can't see it i generally can't see anything like so after this, we're gonna go in with my um what am I trying to do? Okay, we're gonna go in with my Revolution Super Size Concealer and Define Full Coverage Concealer in my light one in the shade C12. I'm in a stage of mine where I'm just like, if I wanna do something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually do it because I feel like there's gifts and there's talents that God has given each and every one of us. So why do we let fear take over what something that could be so great? Something that you might even be called to do, do you know what I mean? Um, and I just feel like when we keep doing, when we keep allowing what other people are doing, we don't even know their situation or maybe like we just don't know. And we allow that to like take a toll on us we need to kind of just step back especially in terms of what we're viewing so like my encouragement to everyone is literally anything anybody else is doing to come and like distract us or demotivate us like if anything allow it to inspire you if you feel like you need to work hard then let that be an inspiration to be like yo maybe i'm not being doing enough but it shouldn't be a point where it's like nah i shouldn't do this or i'm not good enough that's a wrong mindset even if you have that sort of idea or maybe you've been given something don't stop just keep going for it like you can do it and with god behind you why won't why won't he support you that's my thing like god behind you who says you can't do it scripture says if god is for us he could be against us so who's about to be against me not you like i don't need to be caring about what people think if i want to do something and i've got the get-go from god no way you're about to be man watching the um not doing this no doing that please take your opinion somewhere else now I'm getting my Morphe 35B palette where I'm using some purple and pinks just to blend out the eyeshadow. What comes out of mouth is so important. Like our words are spirits and their spirits can also manifest and transform into stuff. So when you're just saying negative stuff like I can't, I won't die, death, hey God forbid. Go for actually bid because what is that? And like I don't even want to sound like a, a like oh my god like I only say like good stuff and like oh my god like positivity is the way but come on mate you need to be careful mate you don't want to be saying all the wrong stuff mate it's you know our mouth you need to declare it comes into existence whether you believe or you don't believe it I'm telling you from now innit? it just creating a cut and crease that I'm gonna do to both eyes where I'm probably just gonna add in a bit of gold. Not any makeup eyes. Let me just put that out there because I know I'm gonna be seeing the comments like. Wow, twenty twenty people still don't know makeup like this. You know what? 
this is how I be doing my makeup, period. So I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe palette. Yeah, if you didn't know, it was weird. I, I just put on eyelashes. Um, I put on foundation. I use the L'Oreal. Is this L'Oreal? True match. This, I love this foundation, mate. And it's a nice cheap price. Don't mind if I do. But I use this foundation bar. So, yo, this is the best foundation brush I've ever purchased. Like, I got this. This is super drunk. It's a super drug band. And I just love it. Look at the colour. Look at everything. It's just... And it's just so good. Going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee, just to highlight my under eye. I don't put any on my forehead anymore. But we're just going to go in the lighter one just to put in underneath my eyes. I don't put in a lot, but here now I'm going to try and blend it out with a brush. Yeah, I definitely like because I ended up blending that out with my beauty blender. And then I'm just going to go back with my foundation brush just to blend out the outside so I don't look all white or too light. Right now, yeah, all of these signs are signs of that God is coming back. You don't want to hear it, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> I look dead. But what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to move, man. We're going to move. Because if I don't move, where will I go? Because I'm not staying here. I've used too much in it. I think maybe it's about the quality. Quality. Quant Hey, corner, corner, corner. The quality, no, the quality, not the quant the quantity, the money. Now I'm just gonna contour my nose using the Revolution Concealer in the shade C18. I'm just gonna use that brush. I use my finger just to rub out the middle of the concealer because I don't like it looking like hella there. Do you know what I mean? So then we're just gonna go back with our foundation brush just to make sure we capture our hey, chocolatey self. Non color powder. I'm just gonna go over with the RCMA powder just to make sure everything is smoothed out. Period. Cool. YX, matte finish, feeling that sounds finished. Matte finish, feeling matte. Oh, that's it in another. I'm actually saying. <laughs> but yeah, I use this one. Let's go back in a bit. I just hate how I've done my makeup. And I, I honestly, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I lied to you. I said it was gonna work, and it work. Got this from Pound Nine, you know, Pound Nine. Pound Nine had it. My mum put me on this. I still have. And then I bought another one for myself. So this is a dark one I go with. with. And then I go in with the lighter one. You know, you don't always need like big up makeup brands to actually still look good, sad. You know what I mean? I'm using the Real Technique Expert Face Brush just to blend everything out. I don't know how I got this makeup to look this popping right now, but thank God. Okay. I'm going to go with this, which is like the dewy finish, because I don't like my face looking matte. I like it a bit glowy, like, yeah, you know the vibes, yeah, I'm the, yeah you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going in with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray just to set everything off. And you know, you just got to fan that. <laughs> guys thank you for listening thank you for getting ready with me i hope i wasn't talking too much rubbish i hope you took something from it today and i'll see you on the next video because we got so much coming up for y'all i've got so much bye see you in the next video and stay tuned subscribe like for your girl man you can't after all this work and everything I've been speaking to you about, you don't want to subscribe, don't be rude. Subscribe. Share it to, share it to a friend. Don't be greedy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. Add me on all my social media and I'll see you on the next video.